All right, turning now to an NBC News exclusive. Hackers linked to the Chinese government stole at least $20 million in COVID relief funds, according to the Secret Service. This would also be the first instance of pandemic fraud connected to foreign cyber criminals. NBC News Justice and Intelligence correspondent Ken Delanian joins us now. So, Ken, good morning to you. Just how serious is this fraud that the Secret Service is talking about? Good morning, Stephen. Well, the context here is that there was a massive amount of fraud in pandemic relief programs, particularly the unemployment programs, as much as $400 billion, as much as 40 percent of all the money that the federal government handed out in special unemployment benefits was stolen. And about half of that, experts tell us, went to foreign criminal groups. And so this is a specific subset. It's a small number in the context, $20 million, but it may just be the tip of the iceberg that the Secret Service says was stolen by a particular Chinese hacking group with ties to Chinese intelligence. And that's what's really significant here is that this wasn't just some run-of-the-mill criminal group. This was a group of hackers that has been identified by the U.S. government and by private experts as having participated in Chinese government-backed hacks before. Some members of this group have been indicted by the Justice Department. So these are the A-team of hackers, and it's believed that they infiltrated state government systems and stole at least $20 million. And that really alarms our sources, Stephen. Now, Ken, we've heard a lot about these COVID relief fraud cases. This is the first we've heard that's tied to a foreign state-sponsored cybercriminal group that the U.S. has acknowledged publicly anyway. Are there any other instances that the government may have not told us about? The, our sources are indicating that there may well be, that they continue to investigate. They can't. They don't believe that this, this one instance of $20 million is the only one. One person told us they believe this Chinese hacking group probably targeted all 50 states because the sad reality is this was easy pickings. I mean, the state unemployment systems use antiquated 1980s computer systems. These programs were designed really without security in mind. They wanted to get the money out quickly, and they were just pillaged by all manner of criminal groups. And so these sophisticated hackers found an easy time in stealing this money, Stephen. Yeah, we've heard about these thefts basically happening since the very beginning of these relief funds being distributed. So is there anything the government can do in the future to prevent this same type of fraud? There's a lot they can do. The Labor Department inspector general has been begging for years that states upgrade their computer systems, for example. And sadly, there doesn't seem to be a lot of political will to do it because it would cost a lot of money. Again, antiquated systems, not a lot of checks for fraud. The people that pay close attention to this say the federal government, state governments need to do a lot more to make sure that this never happens again. Stephen. Certainly a lot of work to be done, and it does come with a price tag. Kendallanian, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.